Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electronics Pedia. Today in this video, I am going to explain about the difference between the blocking and non-blocking statements used in Verilog. This is one of the most commonly asked interview question at the entry level. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you receive all the further updates. So let's get started. So what is blocking statement? Blocking statement is similar to the C code where each, every statement gets executed one after the other. So uh, if you have three statements, then the first statement gets executed, then the second and then the third. Whereas in non-blocking statements, all the three statements gets executed parallelly. So uh, the notation for this blocking statement is, is equals to and the notation for this non-blocking statement is you know, denoted as less than or equal. Okay, so now uh, I'm with the help of you know uh, two examples, I'm going to explain uh, the difference that is between the blocking and the non-blocking statements. So let me just say uh, this is initial. And so there is a a so equals to this is a hash delay. I'm hash delay of phi. And I'm assigning with the value 3 tick d2 and then b I'm assigning a hash delay of uh, under 5 nanosecond and then uh, 3 tick d4 c hash delay of 10 nanosecond which is 3 tick d5. So this is my you know uh, blocking statement uh, and now similarly for the non blocking so a hash five three tick d2 b again hash five three tick d4 c hash 10 3 tick d5 so now if you observe uh, this is the blocking and this is the non blocking so uh, how these statements gets executed so when i say uh, blocking so first this statement will be executed then this one and then this one and in the non blocking statement uh, so all of these three they get executed parallelly so now if I uh, uh, write down in terms of this, you know, uh, uh, you know, time stamp, right? Like now, this is my zeroth. This is my uh, uh, this is five, then ten, this is fifteen, then this is twenty, and this is some twenty-five, and this is thirty. So now, what happens? Uh, first, this in the blocking statement. First, this statement gets executed. So a is it equals to uh, hash after hash file delay it gets a value of 2 so now this is my a so after hash file delay right so it's here here it's going to get a value of 2 after 5 uh, nanosecond now how does the b gets the value so now so this uh, whatever since it's a uh, blocking statement so already 5 nanosecond has been uh, you know uh, time uh, time has passed and then we should get add this uh, additional 5 nanosecond to for the previous delay so that means what happens is at this 10 nanosecond right so at this time the b gets a value of 4 similarly the c gets the value for uh, phi after the previous hash delays or the previous statements whatever the delay is in there so that means this is 5 plus 5 10 and then this is here 10, 10 so that total becomes 20 so at the 20 nanosecond right so here it gets a value of 5 so this is about the uh, you know uh, blocking statements now when it comes to the non blocking statements all of these they get executed parallelly so that means what happens is uh, this is 0, this is 5, this is some 10, 15, 20. Okay. So now A, since all of these are executed parallelly, A gets a value which after the 5 nanosecond delay, so that becomes 2 okay, here. And then B, since this is executed parallelly, so it's, it also gets a value 
which is equals to 4 after the 5 nanosecond and then C since this is the there is a hash delay of for 10 so C gets a value which is equals to 5 after 10 nanosecond delay. So this is the main difference between the blocking and the non-blocking. So I will take another example where I am going, going to explain how this blocking and non-blocking guess statements gets a, uh, the, the values gets updated uh, after each and every clock cycle or maybe if it is a combination then how it gets updated. Assume we have three signals A which has a value of 0, B some value of 2 and C which has a value of 5. Okay. Uh, these are my initial values for the signals. So now, so assume uh, this is my always block, always at the rate of star. Okay, begin. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to assign a with a value of five and b with a value equals to a and c with a value equals to b. This is my end. Similarly, what I am going to do for the always block, always at the rate of passage of clock. Now this is my begin. Here uh, a which is less than or equals to 5 here. Yeah. This is a b which gets a value a and c b. Okay, so now uh, in the blocking statement, as I explained, so each statement gets executed one after the other, right? So first this second one, then then this third. So C gets executed at the third. So now, so since the initial value of A, B, to, uh, C are zero to five. So now how when it gets executed, so A will is assigned with a value of five, right? So that's the value it gets updated. Now B since it is a combination right so they get executed and you will have the uh, results instantly right so just because that will be just a wire delay and all but uh, neglecting those things, it will be updated instantly so that b gets a value which is a a has already updated to 5 so b also will have a value of 5 c also will have a value of 5 based upon the b right this is the blocking statement so now the interesting thing to observe in this uh, non blocking statement is uh, assume these are the initial values. So now, uh, this is my first clock cycle. This is my second clock cycle. This is my third clock cycle. Okay. So now, A, this is B, C. In the first clock cycle, when, I mean, uh, once the value is, uh, A is uh, assigned with a value of 5. So, right, A will get a value of, of 5. Okay. And then, in the second clock cycle, B gets a value which is equals to 5 because these are executed parallel. Initially, A, B will have a value which is equals to A, previous value of the A. So, the previous value of A is nothing but 0. So, B will have a 0 and previous value of C is a, uh, sorry, the C will have the previous value of the B. So, which is equals to 2. So, now uh, in the second clock cycle, B has got a 5 and in the third clock cycle, C will get a value which is equals to 5. So now, in this, uh, it is just like this, okay, here it is moving in this uh, fashion. So, C, uh, you know, second clock cycle, C will have the value which is equals to 0 and uh, uh, in the second clock cycle, uh, right, so A is, is always assigned with the value of 5. So, this will continue to get that and uh, here B gets the value which is over here 5. So, if you observe carefully A is you know um, getting the value of uh, uh, 5 after the first clock cycle, B is getting the value 5 after the second clock cycle and C is getting updated with the value 5 after the third clock cycle. So, this is the you know how the you know blocking and non blocking statements gets executed. I hope this information is clear to you guys. Please do let me know in the comment section if you have any queries related to this blocking and non blocking statements. Thank you.